Old adage says, if life gives you a lemon, make a lemonade out of it. The saying would prove true for a group of women in Wajia who, after losing their jobs following the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic, instead of mopping over their misfortunes, would take the initiative to earn a living through hawking. What is unique about their trade? Well, Emily K. Bade with details of how they are literally cutting their way into financial freedom. Welcome to Wajia town. Not even the scorching sun would stop the usual bustle in the town. <laughs> Vehicles honking, traders negotiating, the streets and markets alive with human activity. Here we meet Amin Osman. She is a second-hand clothes trader. She hawks her wares from market to market. To facilitate quick movement, she opted to invest in a cart. Osman says she came up with the concept of a wheelbarrow mobile shop after she lost her job due to the COVID-19 pandemic. mama. Baba bana saidia mama. Sasa ajila yana chukua ribaro, kuka nje, unakaa jua, ajila watoto yake. Wako na jukumu kubwa. Jukumu ya kwanza ni wanalea watoto. Jukumu ya watoto yote imewalalia. Wanatoa school fees, wanatoa pesa ya madrasa, wanatoa kila kitu. Is, kwanza sana sana ile wanawake ambayo wanaenda na wheelbarrow ni wanawake ambayo wako na watoto yatima, ambayo wanalisha watoto yao, ni wanawake ambaye Ma, eh, ni ambaye ni wamedavosiwa ambaye hawana abwana ndio sana sana wana deal ili walishe watoto yao she says as the sole breadwinner she cannot afford to sit back and watch her children starve na mimi naona kitu ya naona haya ni nisimame niombe mtu ama nisimame nijuze mimi mwenyewe lakini sifanyi chochote hiyo nauza natumia nguvu yangu na Mungu amenipatia naona sio ni haya hizo mambo na corona sawa Iko lakini hakuna pesa sikizi hatuuzi vizuri lakini angalau naweza pata 2000 ama 3000 kwa siku ni sawa nashukuru from the trade she manages to sell clothes worth between 2000 to 5000 shillings but it is not always a rosy affair shida nimepitia kusema ukweli na watu wakaanjo wakatufuguza kwanza mimi mwanzo wakanipeleka kwa polisi nikafungwa polisi tunapatana na challenge mingi kama kajo anakuja wanatufukuza kama wakitukuta kama hapa wanatufukuza lakini hatuna adhaus lazima tuwe tufanye venye wanataka so tunashinda mingi tunapitia her story mirrors that of lisangeri who also hawks her wares in a similar fashion this appears to be a growing trend in the town Traders have abandoned the conventional way of displaying their wares on the ground or in a stall. They appear to be keen on selling their wares from a cut. According to Njeri, this gives her flexibility to target where crowds are gathered and market her goods. A trade that is appreciated by local residents who challenge other jobless persons to use their creativity to earn a living. These two women have chosen to reinvent themselves and change their story from one of despair to that of hope.